Adil Akhmetov is a well-known actor in Kazakhstan. Being the state prize winner and honored worker of the Republic, he works in the capital's youth theater since its establishment. The actor's talent spreads to the cinematography as well. You have colleagues who are filmed only in the movies. You work in cinema and theater. What do you like more? In fact, I got education in acting, art of drama, theater, and cinema. I always say that a bird has two wings, and if it had only one wing, it would not be able to fly. And thanks to two wings, it soars high in the sky. Theater and cinema are my two wings. I cannot say that one is better than the other. I love them both equally. Of course, you can only shoot in a movie and in your free time do your own work. But the theater gives me special feelings. The scene and satisfied audience give me a special inspiration and motivation to work even better. Probably everyone has different ways, but we actors are used to the scene and always wait for feedback from the audience. For example, you work for one and a half, two hours on the theater stage, spend all your energy and get exhausted. But when you see that the viewer is satisfied, it gives you even more energy and inspires you. In addition, the actors of the theater always feel alive. They maintain connection with art and physical condition. We are always ready for any adventure. At the same time, the actors who have moved away from the theater stage admit that with time they fade away and lose their skills. When they go on stage, they are afraid, nervous. They don't know what to say. They worry about how they look and they lose self-control. Therefore, the theater actors should always be in good shape and ready for any kind of competition. What theater role was closest to you? Roles. One always wants to perform each of them according to a mood. For example, if you do not play a certain role or performance for a long time, you begin to miss it. There are interesting roles that are relaxing. For example, there is the play First Love, written by Kanat Junusov, where I play the role of Eyeball. The story is interesting and the character is unusual. There are such roles where you rest, but there are special roles, for example, the role of Abelai Khan in Abish Kelikbaev's play Natal Ken, which means hoping for the best. Or the role of the emperor in Sultan Raev's play Mekege Karai Uzak Jol, which translates from Kazakh as the long road to Mecca. There you can play in a relaxed and peaceful state. A week before the performance, you shall mentally prepare for your role all the time you think about it. Put your voice and everything else, you must fully prepare. You must be internally prepared for the role. And during the play, you get a great pleasure. Also, there are such roles that require physical endurance. For example, the play The Taming of the Shrew by William Shakespeare. In this performance, I play the role of Petruccio. And before the play, you need to prepare for it at least a couple of days to do exercises, eat well, have a good sleep, and only then your performance will have a success. The performance takes a huge effort equal to the one that boxers spend in the ring. And if you do not come prepared, then you may fall right on the stage. Do you have any roles that you consider unsuccessful or those that you cannot master? Yes, there are roles that we play, but their awareness comes only with age. One of them is my role as the mayor in the play, the Inspector General by Nikolai Gogol. I still have not reached its peak, but I play this role from the age of 20. And according to the play, this character is 50 to 60 years old. 
And although I have been playing this role since the age of 20, the performance turned out to be successful, took many prizes. But every time I find it harder and harder to play. There are actors who, while playing drama, can easily switch to tragedy and vice versa. Is it easy for you to make such transitions? When you are an actor, you have to know how to do it. I consider this actor's duty. For example, today you are playing a tragedy, tomorrow you are playing a comedy, and the day after tomorrow it is a melodrama. I passed such a test. We celebrated the 10th anniversary of our theater and then gave performances seven days in a row. We organized a festival and put on the best performances of our theater. During these seven days, both I and my colleagues played all the performances that were in our repertoire over 10 years. One day I played Abilai Khan, the next day I had a lyrical role in Talaptan Akhmedjan's work named in Kazakh as Sulu Men Surechi, or the Parable of Love. The day after, the obstinate Petruccia, right after this, Genghis Khan, one by one. Of course, there were doubts how to combine all this. Would I lose the voice or do not have time to recover? But thank God we found the strength and played all seven days. I challenged myself. If there was an opportunity, which of our contemporaries would you like to play? In the cinema or theater? It doesn't matter. When we had just graduated from the academy, we dreamed of playing bandits. It seemed interesting to us. Now I want another thing, to play opposite characters in one performance or in one movie. I want to play two images, for example, twins, similar to each other in appearance, but completely different in their habits, voices and characters. Nukanat Jakibayev is the person who taught me to be an actor. When I went to study, I was playing to become a film actor. But Nurkanat Jakibayev taught us to love the theater. We listened to his every word. Sometimes he was mild and sometimes very harsh. But everything he said became very important for us. Thus, we became strong, faithful to the scene, and never lied to the viewer. He always said, when you go on stage, play like the last time. We prepared one story. Let's watch it. Youth theater actor Adil Akhmetov doesn't divide roles to big or small ones. He always carefully prepares to each of them deeply studying the whole essence of his character. Colleagues appreciate his hard work. I like all his works because he plays in a special way, with a soul. He is a fan of his craft. The brightest trait of his character is that he gives 100% at rehearsals and demands the same from me. Hard work is always rewarded. Guided by this statement, Adil Akhmetov in his young years conquered quite a few peaks. He received the Darin Award. He was awarded a presidential scholarship, the title of Honored Worker of the Republic of Kazakhstan. For the role of Ilyas in the film The Road to Mother, in 2018 he was awarded a state award. He starred in 20 films, played countless roles on the theater stage. Talking about the acting skills of Adil, one can emphasize his great potential for a big future. He can play in any genre. He has striking appearance, trained voice. He sings well and dances. He has all the talents peculiar to the actor. You were among the young actors who moved to the capital in 2007. Was it hard for you to get used to another city? Biz, uh, 
Әрине, енді өзім Алматта туылып, Алматта өсіп, Алматта оққаннан кейін. We came here a year after graduating from the Academy of Arts. Of course, since I was born in Almaty, grew up in Almaty and studied in Almaty, at first it was not easy. But thanks to our youth maximalism and our teacher Nokanat Jakubayev and his faith in us, it was not too hard. Also, I came here with friends. Our fate, our theater and everything else is connected with the capital. We grow together with the capital. Our theater opened when the capital was only nine years old. Since that time, the main city of our country has been flourishing. People simply do not move to the capital. Those who think about their future, those who are always looking for novelty, who are not afraid of competition, who want to challenge themselves in this race of life, are moving here. So we came, and you came here. Our capital is a city of youth, a city of the future, and this is true. I think the city full of young people will flourish, will compete and develop in the future. Now we know the youth theatre well, but during its formation, what difficulties have you faced? I think it is patience that always helped to cope with any difficulties. First and foremost, the patience of our teacher. After all, we came here because we trusted him. If he hesitated or doubted, we would have turned halfway. We would not have managed either. But Nokanat Jakubayev was true to his decision. He could persuade us and made us believe in ourselves. When we arrived, it was very interesting. We met a new place, a new city, a new architecture, new people. We arrived in July. Then autumn began. Before that, everyone had their own housing, but then all of us settled in one room. There were five, six boys. The girls lived in the next room. At student time in Armity, we did not have this. Then winter came, cold and freeze. Here we began to wonder where we had come, why we had come. What was the point? Neither the theater had own building, nor we had a housing. The salary was miserable. Those who studied with us, and even younger than us, lived in warm Almaty and worked on TV. Someone had a program, someone led a concert, someone shot a movie. Looking at them, we began to think that we had made a mistake. By the words of Nukanat Jakubayev, our teacher, honored worker of the Republic of Kazakhstan, led us to feelings. Our mentor always told us, be patient, everything will be fine. We will have a building, you will definitely become popular. These days will come. After these words, we got the strength and hope, and had other students in Almaty, those who studied a year later. And when he left us, we again began to doubt. At such moments, we decided to give up and tell our teacher about our leave upon his arrival. Perhaps he felt it, and every time brought us a new play and distributed roles. Thus, he distracted us from bad thoughts, and we did not notice how we got involved in the process and began to work hard. So the difficulties were forgotten. A year and a half has passed. Gradually, the actors began to get apartments and started performing at festivals. What other horizons has our capital opened for talented youth? Maganinda Yelordamzin Birgen Mukundu Rutuku 
кино жағына келетін болсақты, ең бірінші менің осы басты рөлде үлкен ауқымды дүниеде түскен рөлім бұл сол кездегі Астана менің мақабатым деген сериал болады. The Capital gave me a lot of opportunities. If we talk about cinema, then my very first roles were in the series Astana My Love. It was Kazakh Turkish TV project. This was my first step into the world of cinema. The second thing is, of course, our theatre. Theatre is probably even the main thing. We also conduct big events, go out on big stages. Our capital, the city of Nur Sultan, gives all this for us. Therefore, since the time of our arrival, many young people grew up in our performances and many of them chose an arts way in this life. Therefore, I consider this, although small, but still our contribution to the development of society. Now many films are being shot, but we don't see you in them. Is it because you are very selective in choosing movie roles? Arine, film ge mende turde. Karaymas, regisseur kam, scenarii kalay ken, saram birlib jat kam obras kanday. Of course, it depends on who is the director, what scenario, what image is given to you, what will this role tomorrow give to society in general and you in particular. Based on this, of course, we very carefully select roles. After graduation, of course, we did not choose. For example, we shot The Road to Mother, but it was released only one and a half, two years later. During that time, there were proposals for films and series, but I was forced to refuse because I did not want to appear anywhere else before the release of The Road to Mother. I wanted the image to be remembered by the audience. Do you think that movie was a success? Arine, yeng bas sebebe bul rejissor dago, rejissor den talgamanda utken. Definitely, first of all, the director and his vision, because it is he who brings everything together. Also, this film could convey the whole history of the 20th century. By the beginning of filming this picture, we finished the work on the film Karash and Iraq. And then I heard about the plans of Akan Satayev to shoot a movie called The Road to Mother. He had long dreamt of this film. He had been preparing for it for a long time. It was a big project. Then we dreamt of playing in it. At that time, they began to shoot Racketeer 2. Filming of several episodes took place in Astana and I was filmed in several scenes. Then the casting to the film The Road to Mother began. We learned about it through social networks, just at the same time we were on tour in Nakta. It was then that the casting director called me saying, Adil, I will send you a scene, you shall shoot it on video and send it to us. So I shot and sent. Of course there was hope, and after some time they called me and said that I was approved. Do you think you met all the hopes of the director of this picture? Of course there are moments that I regret. It's inside of me and only I know about it. But director Akan Satayev expressed his satisfaction. He said, Adil, you played as I have imagined. The image of Ilyas and the image of the entire Kazakh people. Revolution, collectivization, famine, World War II and so on. 
Here, though, the image of Ilyas we showed what Kazakh people experienced. But our Kazakh people did not give up, accepted everything with their heads up, went through all the hardships and gained independence. If we talk about the image of Ilyas, who went through everything and returned to his mother, then this is also the image of our people, who also survived everything, went back to their origins and gained independence. Particularly touching was the fact that mom waited all her life for her child. Akan Satayev told us the following story. His parents were also actors in the Karaganda theater, and when they went on tour, they saw a grandmother in one village, who all the time sat on the road on the outskirts of the village and waited for travelers. When he asked why she was doing that, the villagers said that this unfortunate woman had lost her mind because her son went to war and did not return. And to that day she was waiting for him. It was most likely in the 80s. 35-40 years have passed since the end of the war. So grandmother took sweets with her and went to this road to wait for her son. The children who knew about this ran to her and said, Grandma, Grandma, your son is coming, your son is coming. Give a gift for the message. And for joy she gave everything she had in her pocket, candy and cookies. This story was repeated every day and gave her a sense of minute happiness from the anticipation of meeting her son. His parents told about this to Akan and he remembered it all these years. Thus he added other episodes to the film and released it. Why do you play in the film Tamiris? Tamiris film de, uh, in the film Tommy Reyes, I play her lover, Argon, who then became her husband. The shooting is over. The movie will be released in the fall. This is a very large-scale work. We look forward to it with impatience. The first problem in this film was language. Initially, it was supposed to be Kazakh or Russian. At the end, it was decided to shoot in the ancient Turkic language. Specialists who explore extinct languages were involved in the process. 80% of the film was shot in the ancient Turkic language, and the remaining 20 in Persian. At first, learning the words was very difficult. We forgot, although we learned the script by heart, but since they were completely unknown languages, we forgot the words. When, for example, it is necessary to say mana sana boldi yurti, tongue braids, and you start to get lost. And how does this translate? Mana means I, sana means you. And when you say benez yashuket gul pogul, you mean let your day be the light for you. So they greeted each other. Initially, it was very difficult to learn, and then we even got used to it. We learned translations of words. Is it financially beneficial to be an actor in Kazakhstan? As they say, five fingers are different. Everyone thinks differently. Therefore, I cannot say that an actor of a theater can fully provide himself financially. Be sure to have additional work. Someone is engaged in dubbing, someone conducts corporate parties, someone leads concerts, and someone goes to the movies, etc. Therefore, I think theater actors are the most desperate. They love the theater, they love the stage. The salary is small, moreover, it is necessary to be almost all the time here. We have to spend a lot of energy on the scene. Some even lose their health, but still continue to work. Therefore, it seems to me that a great love and passion for the scene keeps us here.
сахнага деген сол нерсе сұрап тұр. Сізге сұхбат беруге келсін бергеніңізге. Thank you for the interview.